In this video guys, we are going to talk about geometric progression. So in this particular problem guys, mag introduce ako sa inyo ng dalawang solution. The first solution is the conventional solution using the formulas. Then yung second solution natin guys, of course, yung paborito ng lahat, yung calculator technique. Ayan guys, same same calculator guys yung gamit natin, that is Casio 570 ES+. Plus. Okay guys, geometric progression. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin itong geometric progression? Okay, in the board examination guys, madalas ding lumabas yung ganitong mga problem. So pag nakikita tayo ng ganitong problem, dapat ma-solve natin siya using the conventional way or using the calculator technique, yung pinakamabilis na paraan. Sa problem natin dito guys, walang sinabi na geometric progression. But sa geometric progression guys, yung mga next term are obtained by multiplying a constant called common ratio on that preceding term. Ibig sabihin, for example ito, by inspection, yung ating common ratio is 2. So, 2 times 2, 4. Okay, 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2 is 16. So, this is a geometric progression. Meron tayong common ratio. Okay, so dito guys, meron tayong formula for finding any term on your geometric progression. Okay, so any term on the geometric progression, A sub N. Okay, that is equal to A sub M, any term on the geometric progression, times the common ratio. Then, yung common ratio natin, i-raise natin siya guys sa N minus m. Okay, this is the general formula for finding any term on your geometric progression. Then, the sum of the geometric progression, s, is just equal, you have here a sub 1, okay, times the quantity, 1 minus r raised to n, all over 1 minus r. Okay, so ito guys, applicable ito if the common ratio is actually less than 1. Okay. So, yung common ratio kasi natin, guys, pwede siyang less than 1. Ibig sabihin, yung value natin is lumiliit. Dito, guys, we can see that common ratio is greater than 1 kasi lumalaki yung value niya as you go along doon sa series. Okay. So, ito, guys, yung ating sum if r is greater than 1. Okay. Gagawin natin, guys, pagbabalik na rin lang natin ito. Okay. That becomes a sub 1 times the quantity r raised to n minus 1 all over r minus 1. So, this is applicable if the common ratio is greater than 1. Ayan. So, basically guys, we are going to use this formula and this formula for finding the sum. Okay, in the progression 2, 4, 8, 16, determine the 16th term and the sum of the term. So, basically yung sum from the first term up to the 16th Term. So, binigyan tayo ng choices sa board exam, guys. This is a multiple choice exam. Then, we solve this problem using the conventional solution muna. Okay, from the problem, given tayo ng a sub 1, that is 2, the first term. The second term, given, that is 4. The third term is given, okay, that is 8. And the fourth term is given, that is 16. So, we have the common ratio as 2. Okay, common ratio natin ay 2. Okay, we get, we get the 16th. Term. So, what is the 16th term? So, using the formula, a sub n equals a sub m, okay, times r raised to n minus m. Okay, dito yung n natin is the 16th term. Okay, a sub 16, okay, ito, a sub m, pili lang tayo guys kung ano yung gagamitin natin. is either a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, and a sub 4. Pili lang tayo. Okay, let's say, gamitin natin yung a sub 1 lang, yung pinakasimple. Okay, a sub 1 times r Okay, yung n natin is 16. Okay, yung m natin is 1. Then, substitute lang natin yung mga values niya. Okay, a sub 16 equals a sub 1 natin is 2. Okay, 2. Common ratio natin is 2. Then, raised to 16 minus 1. Okay, this is 2 raised to 15. Okay, so basically, this is just 2 raised to 16. Okay, loss of exponent. So, a sub 16 Okay, just use your calculator to solve this. Okay, so this is 65,536. So that is the 16th term. It's either letter A okay, let, or letter C. Okay, so pa natin yung sum. What is the sum of the terms? Okay, sum of the terms, 
is equal to a sub 1 times we have here r raised to n kasi yung ating r is greater than 1. Okay, nauuna yung r sa formula. So, r raised to n minus 1 all over r minus 1. Okay, this is for r is greater than 1. Okay, so yung r natin is 2, therefore greater than 1. Gamitin natin itong formula. So, sum equals, so a sub 1, that is 2. Then, common ratio natin is 2. So, yung sinasum natin, guys, is up to 16 terms. So, therefore, n here is 16. Okay, minus 1. All over 2, minus 1. Then, we just use your calculator to solve this. So, sum is equal to, we have here 2 times. Okay, so this is 2 raised to 16. That is 6,500. 536 minus 1. All over, okay, all over 1. Wag natin lagyan. Okay, use your calculator to solve this. This is just equal to 131,000, okay, 70. So this is the sum up to 16th term, okay, 16th term. Then this is the 16th term. So, that is letter, okay, so that is, sa choices natin, that is letter C. Okay, madalas rin siya guys, lumabas sa board examination. So, you need to actually study the conventional way. Of course, proceed tayo guys sa calculator technique natin. Okay guys, so i-open lang natin yung calculator natin. Then, yung ating calculator technique is actually the same for arithmetic progression. May iniba lang ako ng konti. Okay, so almost similar lang naman yung mga functions na gagamitin natin. Okay, first of all, gagamit tayo ng calculator, you should always clean your calculator by pressing shift and clear. Okay, shift 9, then you clear all. Okay, 3. Para sure tayo na walang mga nakastore dyan, then malinis yung calculator. Okay, so we have here, okay, press lang natin yung mode for progression problem mode. Then, we go to stat. Okay, so 3. Then, for geometric progression, guys, ang gagamitin natin dito is yung number 6. Yung my a dot b raised to x. Okay, so resemble siya. Yung x natin dito is like your exponent. So, ito yung form ng geometric progression equation. So, number 6. Press natin yung number 6. Okay, the calculator will give us a table. Okay, X and Y column. Yung X natin is the position. Ibig sabihin kung pang ilang term. Then, yung Y natin is kung ano yung term na yon. So, dito sa problem natin, given tayo ng 2, 4, 8, 16. Sa calculator technique natin, guys, minimum of 2 matching datas. Okay, it's either you get the first and second, the, f the second and the third. Okay, it's either the third and the fourth. Basta dalawa yung gagamitin natin, yung minimum. The first term, so 1 equals, that's the first. What is the first term? Sa so, y natin ilalagay, that is 2. Okay, 2. Equals lang natin. Then, pili ka pa ng isang data. It's either 4, 8, or 16. So, let's just pick 4. Yung pinakasimple. That is the second term. So, that is 4. 4 is the second term. Okay, kompleto na guys yung data natin. Minimum of 2 matching datas. Press natin yung AC. Then, we go to shift. Stat. Ayan, 1. Then, after you press that, you get this regression. Okay, 5. Then, ang hinanap natin dito guys is the 16th term. San ba yung... Uh, term, X or Y. So, nasa Y yung term natin. So, therefore, kiklik lang natin yung number 5 for Y. Okay, that is Y hat. In order for you to get the 16th term, you actually need to place a coefficient here. 16th. It means that what is Y when the position of the term is at 16th. Okay, 16 Y hat. So, you just press equals. It will give you the 16th term. So basically guys, yun yung pinakamadaling solution for this during the board examination of course. That is 65,536. That is the 16th term. So what about the sum engineer? Gagamitan natin siya guys ng summation. Okay, so press lang natin guys yung AC to clear the a screen. Okay, so shift summation yung may logarithm. 
Okay, so yan, summation. Ibig sabihin, yung sum. Then, you press shift, stat ulit tayo, stat. Then, you have regression. Then, you get the y hat. Okay, ito yung form niya, guys. Just follow this form. Then, sa katabi ng y hat, maglagay tayo ng x. So, alpha x. Ayan. That's the form. Then, you put a comma. Then, lagay natin, ano ba yung sinasum natin? From the first term to the, okay, comma, 16th term. Then, you just press equals. It will give you, basically, it will give you the sum of this geometric progression from the first term to the 16th term. So, that is 131,070. So, that's how you solve a geometric progression problem in the conventional way using the formulas. And of course, you have this, the favorite of all, the calculator technique. Okay, you just try this out on another uh, problems. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope that you have learned from this. And of course, if you are new to this channel, just click the subscribe button, guys. You can also share this video sa mga classmates nyo or sa mga kilala nyo. Thank you for supporting this channel, guys. You can actually follow me on Facebook kasi doon ako nagpo-post ng mga educational materials. Facebook.com slash engineerprofph. See you guys on my next video. Stay safe and God bless.